Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to handle some practice problems involved in evaluating and simplifying algebraic expressions. First question asks us to rewrite the expression using exponents and to identify the correct expression in the given multiple choice answers. So as we learned in the lesson, 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 is the same as 7 to the fourth. So A is your correct answer. It's not 7 to the 7th because that would be 7 times 7 times 7, 7 times. And it's not 2,352 because we're not asked to evaluate, we're just asked to rewrite. And the next question, we're asked to rewrite again the expression using exponents. So I have 2y times 2y times 2y. And there are there's one common mistake that most students make, and that's either to multiply only the coefficient or only the variable. So in this case, if you multiplied only the coefficient, you'd have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8y, and that's not the correct answer. Or if you multiply just the variable, you'd have 2y cubed. But in this case, you have to multiply both the uh, coefficient and the variable. So you should end up with an answer 8y to the third. So B is your correct answer. In the last two problems, we're asked to use order of operations to evaluate expressions and provide the exact answer. So recall the order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction, or PEMDAS. So if we take a look at the first expression, 9 minus 3 times 5 plus 6, we see that there are no parentheses, there are no exponents, but there is there are two terms that are multiplied together. I have negative 3 times 5. So I'm going to rewrite those two terms as negative 15. So now I have 9 minus 15 plus 6. There's no values that are being divided by each other. Uh, however, we do have some values or terms that are being added or subtracted. So if I take care of the addition first, you have to remember that 15, I have a negative value associated with the 15. So it's minus 15 plus 6, which is negative 9. And I still have this 9. So I'm left with the answer of 0. And that is the correct answer using the order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. <clears throat> okay, last problem. Evaluate the expression for the given values of x and y. So here we have two values of x and y. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 7. I'm going to go ahead and substitute those in. So now I have <clears throat> 2 squared minus 7. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to handle the parentheses first. And I can handle this two ways. One is I can handle the exponents and then the parentheses, or I can use the distributive property, which we've learned in the prior chapter. Either way will work to multiply <clears throat> out the 0.5 value into each term in the parentheses. Either way will work. So I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and take care of evaluating the values in the parentheses first. So I've got 0.5 times 4 minus 7. So I handle the exponents inside the parentheses. Now I'm going to take care of the value in, in the parentheses first. I have minus 3, and then I'm going to multiply it by 0.5, <clears throat> and I get negative 1.5. Now I can also do it a second way. I can <clears throat> uh, use a distributive property to uh, take care of the parentheses first, and I end up with 0.5 times 2 squared minus 0.5 times 7 which is the same as 0.5 times 4 minus 0.5 times 7, or 3.5. And that's the same as 2 minus 3.5. So I've handled the parentheses, then the exponents, then now I'm handling subtraction, addition and subtraction last, and I end up with negative 1.5. Either way will work. 